Hey guys, this is Diego with uh, Techie Life, and today we have a tutorial, or more of a fix slash tutorial, on how to upgrade your LG TV. Um, this is a certain type of LG TV. I have two of them here. Um, as you can see, I have these TVs here. Um, one of them is a non-smart, the other one's a smart. Uh, we're gonna integrate them to so we can have a smart TV. And this one has a cracked screen with some, I guess, bad lights, LED lights. Uh, this one doesn't turn on, or at least it seems that it doesn't turn on. So we're gonna go ahead and troubleshoot first. Um, after that, we're gonna disassemble the, the donor TV and you know upgrade it and fix it. So stick around. All right, guys, so that's the donor TV taken apart. And this is the, I guess, the, the main TV that we're gonna repair. Um, this one, this one is model number 47 LN 5400. It has that the smaller chipboard here. Uh, it has the T-Con here and your power board. Now if I swing over this way, I have basically the same power board, um, but I have a bigger chipset. Uh, the main board is bigger. It's a little bit longer and it has that LAN, that LAN line, and I'm gonna say that, that the the LCD uh, T-Con is the same. Now, one thing that's extra is this right here. That's your Wi-Fi transmitter uh, and receiver as well. But everything else seems like it's the same thing. Um, so what I'm basically going to do is. I guess take it apart and strip everything I can from this one first. I was gonna actually do this, you know, first, but I'd rather know what's good first. And after that, we'll bring it over to this one. Um, as far as like everything goes with the parts, I mean, they're all the same except for the main board and the Wi Fi board. So stick around. Um, like I said, I'm gonna take this apart first and then I'll continue on okay guys so here it is uh, so this is where we're gonna troubleshoot here the 47 LN 54 I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in I have uh, uh, power going to it already so let's see where this power goes give me a sec okay so we got the power on or the power plug in and we're gonna go ahead and uh, give it uh, some juice. Actually, the adapter's down here. It's down here, I took it off. So. Right here it should be on. I push the button, turn turn it off. Then the standby light should come on. Right, give me a sec here. So my daughter passed out there. Check this out. That turns it off. That turns it off right there. So when I turn it on, the signal is received. And it was actually a flash there. I'm gonna try it again. So this is off. I'm gonna actually turn off the lights here so you can see the flash. So turn it on real quick. There's a flash. So whenever there's a flash, it's one of two things. That's it. It can be either the LEDs themselves, or it can be the power supply. Uh, maybe 90% of the time, it's going to be the LEDs. Um, actually, the one that, the donor TV that I took apart only had it had three bound LED strips. And the rest were were okay. Um, so part of that. Part of those LEDs, I'm gonna see which ones are bad, and most likely I'm gonna be able to use them and 
and I put two TVs to fix one and upgrade it. So I'm gonna take it apart here and I, I don't wanna really wanna be on camera taking it apart, but I'm gonna show you there's there's clips here that you first have to release. I mean aside from the backing and whatnot, you have to release here first. Um, after you do it all around, there's gonna be some uh, some uh, we call it the small ones. Let's see if I can get you the size here. Um, if you don't use the right ones, you will strip it, and then life sucks. Jeez, um, I can't find the, the bit here. I'm looking for the bit. I have my little adapter here, but the problem is it's not magnetic, and I have carpet that's can hide everything. <laughs> I'll, I'll look for it. All I know is that it's bigger than this one, which is a uh, Phillips head zero zero. Um, it's probably like a Phillips head zero. If not, maybe it's a Phillips head one. But basically, you take out these screws here. Uh, you take out your LCD panel. Um, it's basically all over here from the top. It's going to come into like little frames. And then after the frames, you're going to have uh, three sheets, or once you take the panel off very carefully, you're going to have three sheets, take out those three sheets and then you'll get access to the LEDs. And I'll show you from there what happens. All right, so here we are with the sheets are over there. We're going to be checking each one of these LEDs strips first, and then we're going to take off the ones that don't light up. So I know for a fact that there's positive and there's negative. Now I, I have my little tester, you know, with the leads and everything. So I'm all like a professional, but I, I've, I've made a video before on how to make a, a homemade tester with two nine volt batteries. Um, and, it, and it all depends on, you know, nine volts or whatever. It depends on how many LEDs you have. So in this case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Each one of those are going to be about three volts. So nine times three is twenty-seven. You're gonna you're gonna need about twenty, you know, twenty-four or, or what is it nine? I guess you could, you could do two of the nine volts, which would make eighteen. Um, if you do three of those nine volts, you'll be pretty much spot on here. As far as what you need for to light these up but I'm just gonna show you like how to do this so basically sorry basically let me put you on white screen all right cool I'm gonna put one lead on one and the other and the other not working too well. It's, I can't do it with one hand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm gonna go with the bottom one instead. The ones that you actually just touch basically like this. So my leads are touching. I'm getting nothing really. Um, I'm actually getting 287 volts being pulled. Let's try a different one here. Okay, cool, we got these. These LEDs light up, good. These LEDs, they light up good. I bet you the problem is gonna be this one right here. These LEDs light, light up good too. All of them are all lit up. All of these are LEDs are lit up. That's good. And let's see all of these. Oh, we got one burnt LED at the very end. So we're gonna replace that very end one. Um, 
because this row didn't light up, I can either replace it all and go with that, or I can actually jump over to this. Whoa, I just got shocked. I can jump over to this jumper here and test it from here. If I can. It's like chopsticks that I'm playing with. So, I see this working fine. Now, another one would be if I. I mean, I could go back to this one again. Yeah, it doesn't look going to work out. So, I'll replace this R2. And then this one is. Let's see here. This one is an L1. So I'm gonna replace those two and I'm gonna check them out, I'm gonna test them out, I'm gonna put the TV back together, and then we'll jump over to the to the, the upgrading process. So basically there it is. Um, it's repaired, it's fixed. Um, now the next step in our little project would be to take this main board right here. Um, and, and it should fit because they have little uh, pre 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 uh, pre drilled uh, slots that that'll make it fit here. Um, to take this main board off, and we're also gonna take off the this this wire right here, which is the Wi-Fi adapter. Uh, those two are the only ones that, that need to come out, and then we can transfer it over. And I'll show y'all. You know, proof <laughs> that it's gonna work. All right, guys. So check this out. All right, so basically, switched over now. The only thing I had to do was change out this one. Uh, the one that comes with it is too short. The one that goes to the main the power to the main board. Uh, it's the same T-Con. I took off the Wi-Fi right over here. This one just basically took the tape off and switched it over this way. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and power it on and see what the results are here. So. As soon as I can get some slack in here. Alright. So make sure when you do this, <laughs> you get the back cover. Because if you don't get the back cover, the holes are not going to align to your TV. So, so see lights, so that's good. see program information that's good I have a smart remote here hopefully this is for the new one but hopefully it works uh, sensors in the back so sensors being squished here there we go so here we go and it responded and now this is cool because I paid close to I think it was um, 40 bucks or 50 bucks for the the good TV non smart just broken somehow or the back that's uh, bad and then I paid I think it was 10 bucks for the smart that was cracked so Essentially, I paid 60 bucks, and this TV can go now for about 250, 240, 210, 200. Uh, you know, so that's a good profit, a good turnout, and this is a good repair. Hopefully, y'all learned something from this. Um, I know I didn't go through in detail everything about taking everything off, but if you can look at my other videos, you'll see how you know to take everything off and stuff like that. Uh, the main thing is that I wanted to show y'all is that. In this, these LGs, uh, it's like 2014, 2015. You can swap, you know, stuff around, and it'll still work. Um, yeah. So even even 2016s, or you know, the, the the LEDs strips themselves are are basically the LB series are inter. You can you can swap them out, you know. 
they'll work. LGs just, uh, I don't know, they have a bad reputation of, you know, the LEDs going out. And I, I, I love LGs, but not their LEDs. <laughs> Those are the ones that I've probably fixed the most is the LG LEDs. And thanks for watching all that stuff. Um, please subscribe if this has helped you. Please share whatnot. Uh, let me know. Let me, you know, give me some information of what you think or, you know, information that you have that I didn't say or whatever. Or go ahead and post in the comments of what you think that I should have done different. Um, I know I'm not the best professional, you know, TV repairman or whatever, but, you know, it, it, it gets done, basically. All right, guys. Take care. To the next one. Later. This is Techie Life.